Well, hey there, guys. Shane here, Figure Deck 3D Printing. And you remember a while back, I printed this little guy in a time lapse and I uploaded it. Actually, it was a pretty big hit. A lot of people liked it. And I've always wanted to print the little T Rex head. Uh, this actually has a model that can do the whole body, but this is just the head of it. It came out absolutely great. I was super happy with it. You can print this little stand for it as well, which was also really, really nifty to have a little stand here that can hold it just on your desk like so. And it's a great little reminder of what 3D printing can do and how awesome it is. But printing small isn't really my style, so I had to upscale this. And bam, here we are, a humongous max size T-Rex head. This is the biggest I could scale, and it was 216.06% on the Folger Tech FT5. And it prints in two parts. First part prints like so, second part prints like so, and it's just like a spring fit, just a friction fit to hold the jaw together, like that. And there we have a gigantic T-Rex head. So this is printed with Folger Tech's new PLA, and they're white, obviously. And it just came out absolutely great. There is no flaw whatsoever with it. There were no stringing. There was no inconsistencies in the filament. And again, when printing the teeth like that on this jaw here, no strings, no loose filament, anything like that. This took quite a long time to print uh, at a, I think I did a 10% or 12% infill in this. The top of the head was about 20 hours. The bottom was about nine hours. So lots and lots of filament went into this. This used most of a roll. I would probably say at least 170 to maybe 200 meters. Uh, I really wish I would have wrote that down when I printed this, but I was just too excited to print this. I finally had a full roll of white that I wasn't using for like review. It was just something that uh, John at Folger Tech gave me. So thank you, John, for enabling me to print this giant T-Rex head. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. I am super, duper excited about having this. This is going to go on my desk. I have printed the, you know, the mast, the stake post for it, whatever you want to call it, that holds the head in place up. I just need to print the actual base so that I can set this on my desk. I can't leave it like this, but it looks so much cooler with it like being suspended because, I mean, the hole is huge. I mean, my thumb fits in there. The size of the post is absolutely humongous. Great. And I know how much you guys like time lapses, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and me talking. You're gonna get some sweet music by whoever I decide to pick from, and you're gonna see the good time lapse. It's pretty much just gonna be what the small one was, but jumbo sized. So I thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the time lapse, and until next time, happy printing. Kill a bass, but I need to serious sound. Everybody up it up and try your hands in the air if you feel the Irish and Now let me see ya, let me see ya, fuck this the metrophone. Boom, there's the sound of the kill a bass, but I need to serious sound. Everybody up it up and try your hands in the air if you feel the Irish and Now let me see ya, let me see ya, fuck this the metrophone. Killer bass, but I need a serious sound. Everybody up it up and try your hands.
hands in the air if you feel the Irish hand. Now let me see ya, let me see ya, funk is gonna drop on. Boom, there's the sound of the killer bass, but I need a serious sound. Everybody up the up and try your hands in the air if you feel the Irish hand. Now let me see ya, let me see ya, funk is gonna drop on. Get that amazing song. Come on. <laughs> 